Kick back and relax with this calming and ambient games for Android. Traditionally, the best games are jam-packed with non-stop action and explosions, and those can certainly be fun. But sometimes you simply need an ambient and relaxing experience to take your mind off the worries of the world. No time and no lies, just gaming bliss. What's up, guys? Sir here, and today I have compiled some of my favorite Android games with a chill vibe that will help you relax for those times when you need to. Focus is a cerebral puzzle game that really requires you to work a cube through puzzles. The aesthetic here is clean and relaxing with all focus put on the puzzle itself with calming music playing in the background. There are a hundred mind melting puzzles included in the core game but you'll also want to tap the pencil and the ruler icon to create or play levels designed by the Hocus community. This is a great pick up and play game that will leave you feeling calm and accomplished. Alto's Adventure is one of the best gaming experiences for Android as you play a llama herder who must know about down a mountain chasing down his lost flock. The visuals here are stunningly beautiful and the gameplay is smooth as silk. After a while of playing this game, you may fall into a trance-like state. This is probably the most action-packed game on the list as you might grind and jump over huge chasms and outrun mysterious mountain men in your journey down the mountain. While the gorgeous visuals and fun gameplay will draw you in initially, you'll keep coming back to complete the run objectives. There's also a new game called Alto's Odyssey which may be releasing soon. It will be the successor of Alto's Adventure. It may come as a little surprise but puzzle games are typically the best for relaxing and de-stressing since they allow your brain to block out everything around you and focus on completing one specific task. In Monument Valley, the task requires manipulating impossible structures to help your sprite get through each level. It's a celebrated mobile game on Android featuring a sleek minimalist design. If you have never played it, it's still absolutely worth checking out years out from its initial release. Prune is one of those games that teaches you how to play quickly and then it's up to you how to figure it out what to do. The goal is to get your tree into the light so the branches grow a certain number of flowers. The tree grows a certain amount once you trace a general angle for its trunk from the ground and after that you have to trim the branches to shape how and where it moves. That's it. The visuals and the music create a contemplative calming space. The act of pruning your tree and shaping it correctly is calming and the levels slowly introduce new ideas and challenges as you master the game. A geometric shape slowly spins on your screen distinct against a multi-hued background shaded in complementary colors. Revolving in orbit around the shape is a tiny little arrow pointed directly at the shape. This is the world of Polyforge, beautiful, minimalistic and geometric. In Polyforge, you control the little arrow, tapping it to send it darting towards the shape on your screen. Each time the arrow hits the shape, it paints it with a glowing line along with the side it. The aim of each level is to paint all sides of the shape until the shape is entirely outlined and glowing. Each success rewards you with new shapes that grow ever more complex as you advance through the levels. The goal is pretty simple, and the first few levels definitely contribute to that impression. As you advance, the level gets steadily more difficult, the arrow speed changes, and the shapes get more unusual. The music and the sound effects also add to the general pleasant experience of the game. It's a great game overall. So that's pretty much it for today. If you guys like the games mentioned here, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's me, Danrod.tech here, and I'm signing off right now. Peace. Tonight I'm gonna show what you've been missing. I'm sorry I don't pay you no attention. Tonight I'm gonna show you off, off, off. Tonight I'm gonna show you off, off.